You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. Derek, you're great. Are we going to have nicknames for each other each episode? You're great. You're great. I'm under boob. That's the original. That's the OG. So you're, you're Nev so Nips. I'm under boob. Oh, wait. Let's not give away the studio production value we have here. It's pretty, pretty low. You're probably going to sing anyway, so you might as well just use it. That's a good point. I'm... That you think that's so funny. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know how to do this podcast you know, unless we look into each other's I, eyes. Just the fucking generation jacking themselves off. It's easy to hate something that's really good. But everyone listening is cool, and all of the cool people are going to that show. You should do. This is a positive podcast. That's what we're going for. Yeah, we're that trying, was like the difference. People are going to be like listening to this and like, it's so fucking happy. This <laughs> <laughs> is the feel good movie review. Eventually going to put out a CD just of my <laughs> singing, random, singing random, <laughs> random songs. <laughs> You got a little tingly? Feel good. Uh, right guys, turned down I think, for what? I think that's <laughs> turned down for hot life. Blast off. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. Blast You're off. You're great. Blast in. That's what I was going to say. How did you know? Hey, Yogi. You're, You're great, great, Yogi. How great? <laughs> That's the first blast one. in great. Blast yeah. in great. All right. Yeah. I'm all about it. that blast on, not that blast off. Uh, want to blast guys, in you. Welcome. You're, you're Whoa, this got real. Welcome <laughs> to the Hug Life podcast. It got real only less than Just trying to in. compliment him. Is that not how they work? I'm going to blast inside you. Is that a compliment? Do you feel good about that? I don't feel bad. What if someone Ooh. yelled that at you across the street? Hey, What's I like your comedy. I'm going to blast inside you. What no, if that happened? Without the comedy comedy though they're just without that. the comedy they just want to blast in me yeah so they don't even know me yeah. <laughs> uh i guess it's i don't know i mean <laughs> i don't have a lot of like people positively saying things about me ever so i'd be like cool oh, be that'd like, be a I'll nice compliment yeah. make your day what's the last compliment you've gotten on your per- physical person i don't even remember that's how long ago it was i don't even remember can i come back to it and think about it yeah. Uh, oh no! Uh, someone said they liked my new show shirt. I have show shirts and show jeans. The waitress at shoes. Palace last night said I had a spectacular beard. Oh. Ooh, nice! You do have a spectacular beard. You're great. It's a blast yeah, on my beard. My hair's real long right now. I gotta get Your beard's blast on. Take that hat off. Let me see it. Blast on! Ooh, Ooh you look very nice. Because you were in India for a while and you didn't get a haircut. It was very soft. Uh, I, I did not get a haircut. Having Indian hair is pretty great. Wait, do you want to hear what my last compliment was? Yeah, what about was your last physical? compliment? Uh, the man in the park said, ooh, the little one's got a fat ass. That happened. Where? Where was this at? Cal Anderson Park. Just a li- nice little walk. Nice like little that happens small park. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, that's too bad. I'm sorry about that. Hmm? Oh, I'm used to it now. I don't... Um, the only thing that bothers me about it is like, where do you, what's your plan? Sure, you know what sure. I mean? like, where's that going to go? Really loud, yeah. yeah. You know? You're going to be like, I do. You want to hang out? No, that's not. That never it's works like that way. Those guys at the show that kept being like, yeah. After everything I said, and I was like, what <laughs> is your plan here? You wore a Hawaiian shirt to this show in Seattle. You fucking idiot. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I, yeah, I think so. I, uh, I don't they just want you to know that they know that you're really good looking. But they want to do it in the rudest way possible. Yeah. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. That's, fine. That's probably their justification for it, though. I, I never yell at anyone like that. I feel really weird complimenting people on their appearance. I, I do, too. But I always want to say things like, I enjoy your smile, or yeah. your, your toes look yeah. nice, or yeah. interesting piece of jewelry you have. Do you have a story behind it? Always a story. See, and I've, to- yeah. oh, I've, I've See, told people... See, if you're asking for a story, I think they're going to be far more Oh, yeah, the stories story, you know are good. I mean? So you have an invested I push carts interest. at Fred Meyer, because uh, I have humble roots in this American he country. He still Meyer. does it, but he doesn't get paid to do it. Thank you. You're welcome. I do push the cards back sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Uh, American uh, hero, Yogi Polly. I walked a lady out to her car, not to you know hang out, but I was taking her groceries. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, hey, I'm not. Hey, you want to hang out in my? She's van? like, oh, I don't need any help. No, no, I just, I'm just here to hang out. So, like, what's you know, just like a Volvo S70? You rock an <laughs> S70 right here. Why'd I you heard? choose this one? Tell me, tell me the story. I mean, I've heard it's what's the wrong safest, with the S80. Safest car on the road, you know. The highest ratings. Tell me about that safety rating. If I was in the movie Twister and you were Helen Hunt and I was Bill Paxton, I'd hope we have a Volvo, is what I'm trying to say. (laughs) Uh, No, but she had very uh, good looking uh, shoes on. They were like hybrid cowboy boot shoes. I was like, great shoes. And she was so happy because she was middle aged and sad. And uh, I was like, (laughs) I knew instantly. I'm like, you know what? Uh, You should compliment people on things that they like. Because, uh, 
Wasn't I mean, yeah, I'm sitting here looking great. Mike doesn't appreciate it. You're great. Thank you. You're welcome. You're fishing for compliments. I was with Cameron when we bought the shirt that you're wearing right now. Yeah, you, you were with me when I bought it for Cameron? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it. Reverse it. <laughs> I love this shirt. I wear it way more than I should wear a shirt multiple times yeah. in a row. Yeah, I really like it. I also love giving compliments to people because no one fucking expects it, which is yeah. kind of sad, but yeah. like, I love it. Do you guys give scent compliments? Because yes. I do. I love time. smells. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, if you smell good, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you. You know what I mean? Hey, girl, you smell like chicken wings. She's like, hey, dude, nice deodorant. <laughs> nice deodorant. Bro. Yeah, you don't know me. <laughs> and I just deodorant to use? Anyway, I use Old Spice. I used to I use like to try to save money Dollar Store Speed Stick, mm-hmm. and I gave up because you got you can't be stingy on deodorant. Right. You got to really fucking pay for it. And I do. I don't mind it. Old Spice, fresh scent. I can go grab it right now if you guys want. That's not the tune. That's not the tune. You know, that's the, the old tune. Spice that's the tune? Yeah, but in better in in tone Ooh. and right. I think my version was more melodic <laughs> and right. And right. Uh, I use Arm & Hammer. Yeah, turn that light on. It's going uh, to take a while to come back it doesn't up. Uh, have like the shitty iron that ruins your health or something. You Arm & Hammer breast, does? Breast cancer. Dude, what? A, oh, man, this got down. Well, really I, that's quick. why I, I wanted so to come on this podcast. And, and, and the positive get, thing that he uses so yeah. it's not going to give him breast cancer. Well, now cancer. I'm worried I'm going to get breast cancer. we're spreading awareness. Don't use deodorant that gives you breast cancer. <laughs> Yeah. Why do you think homeless people live so long? Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's messed okay, up. Man. But funny. Seeing poverty for three weeks and not being able to actively communicate jokes because it's just harder for me to be witty and Hindi. Like, oh, boy, it's been it's been rough. Dude, your first album should be called Witty and Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has an album, doesn't he? I do have an album. It'll be coming out soon. Uh, Is it called Witty and Hindi? It should be. Then we're not plugging it on this podcast. <laughs> Every time Mike talks about it, also known as Witty and Hindi. Hindi. It's not called that. You cannot search that. You, you know will what? not see it anywhere. <laughs> Seth Lazier gave fake al- album intros to comics at the Yo Mike once, and mine was The Yogs on You, and <laughs> uh, it's too good. It's too good. <laughs> the Yogs I was on joke you? given a title that's better than anything I will ever create. No, the album is uh, Yogi Paul All Self Portrait. It was a show I did in October. And um, you were I actually, it. you did it. I was on it, and I then know. you did it right as you were doing the podcast, if I recall. Like we did it like the week before, because you were our first repeat guest. Yeah, Segway. Hugs. Whoop, 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 whoop. Back <laughs> from episode seven, Yogi yeah. Polly. All the way from episode seven, Yogi Polly. We don't Yay. afford a clap sound. Yeah, we don't know. have that yet. <laughs> we're working on it. Clap sounds are expensive <laughs> as shit. Audience of two. <laughs> <laughs> we make our own, and we just loop it together. But yeah, you're back. I'm back. Yeah, back in the New York groove. I'm Thank Mike Coletta. I'm um, Monica Nevy. I'm Yogi Polywall. Yeah. yeah, you be you, girl. I was in India. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm at. It's I'm leaning. I'm doing a different podcast stance than I normally do with arms on the I table. I Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, we're doing it live! <laughs> I feel like if anyone brings up Bill O'Reilly, someone in your group of friends is going to yell that. They doesn't, should. It doesn't matter, and they yeah. should. If they don't, you need new friends. That's right. Yeah. You got to have fun friends that yell, fuck it, we'll do it live. Hug life rules for life. Hug life rules for life. And welcome to Hug Central Station, but we have a new name for it. Hug Mansion. Hug Mansion. Every ghetto is a Hugs Mansion. Nice. I like this a lot. You like it? So I, 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 um, I want to be honest with you guys. I was in India. Let's get real. And I had Wi-Fi speeds that were so slow, it would make the heart of a young person faint because they were so slow just that heart, hurts though. just the heart yeah faint of heart the faint of heart <laughs> um no i i had w- the internet for the first time in india so i could download podcasts but they would take four hours and <laughs> oh 0.010 <laughs> was the speed so you like um, it just was a long time point is <laughs> I listened to the David Dingler episode and the Gabriel Rutledge episode. David Dingler. David, Ding- totally the D- David Dingler? Yeah. I have a friend named David Dingler. I met David Leon. Yes, Damn it. But, but the episode's called Busted Dingler. Busted Dingler. Yeah, it's called yeah. Busted Dingus, yeah. I believe. Dingler. No, it's Dingler. Dingler, is it? Yeah, yeah my friend's last name is Dingler. He said Busted My Dingler I produced the, the podcast right. and I don't even know the names. Busted Dingler with David Leon. And look at that. It's like perfect. His, his picture lines up on the website, so it's his mustache and his face just creeping Ooh, over the edge. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's shit. Didn't need to swear there, but I did anyway. Tell me about India. It was great. It, uh, I hadn't been back to the motherland for a long time. It was hot. And I like that. 
And I forget how that, hot like, was it. How hot was it? <laughs> hot enough to fuck? No. <laughs> boop, boop. Uh, it was. <laughs> It was like Sorry. between 75 and 85 every day. And then when we left, it was in like starting to go in the mid 90s. You're a hot man. You I'm like hot, hot, hot I'm heat. wearing flannel lined pants right now. And it's like 65 outside. And 65 is prime Coletta weather, like to wear shorts and t shirts and be all summery. Monica, how do you feel? And what's your favorite temperature? Probably that mid. Tell me in Kelvin. What is happening? He's got, but the socks. I'm very well, distracted. He know. has puzzle socks. Ooh, you have jigsaw puzzle socks. Yeah. I like that uh, seventy-five ish area. Oh, nice. Like a San Diego. So, but not quite India. When they make your socks, do they have to sew in to the be corners honest, I've first. I've never been to India. So. That's a dumb, stupid I joke. I liked it though. You I liked like it? A lot. Yeah. That's why you didn't laugh. You just <laughs> smiled at me like that's cute. Let's never do that again. <laughs> in my head, I genuinely thought, "Oh, will the podcast listener understand the joke?" Because it is good, but I don't have to explain that. I guess Monica said my socks have puzzle pieces on them. I said they were jigsaw puzzle pieces. Oh, you know what? Jigsaw, let's let's break down this saw. shitty one-liner I did mm, yeah. 30 seconds ago for Point the next is, four it minutes. It was good, and uh, <laughs> I'm dressed to impress. Uh, not like you always. Look good. But now, because people got eyes on me, things crazy. Because you're in public a lot, and people I'm are staring at you? People are staring at me. Um <laughs> No, man, I'm telling you, it's the Illuminati. They're coming to get us, okay? <laughs> Dude, title for all. I just watched that Going Clear documentary Dude, when it came no, out. don't bring it up because I was in that building the day, like, Saturday. Mitch and Jackson Banks and I went into the Scientology like, The Celebrity church. Center? No, the big, huge blue one that's oh. on that thing. That's the we Celebrity were in Center. There for, no, it's not. It's There's not? another one. Trust me, I saw all There's of them. There's so many buildings. We went in and we were like, tell us about it. We were in there for an hour and a half with this guy, like, just basically trying to get us to be Scientologists. Are you going to watch the documentary? I already watched it. You did? Yeah. Did it scare you? No. But it, it was just interesting to compare what he was telling us to, like, what to happened. In the yeah, because he's like, what have you guys heard? And we, we're like, we heard about the space stuff. We want to know about the space stuff. And he's like, no, that's not true. And, we're, and Jackson goes, oh, well, then I don't want to be here. <laughs> 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 it was so funny. But then so we, like, watch all these videos and stuff. By the way, he says there's no space stuff. Every single video intros with you going through space. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? And then... um so we asked again at one point, and Jackson is from uh, Utah, and he goes, I was raised Mormon. Like, I'm okay with the space stuff. Like, you don't need to hide it. <laughs> Stop and, hiding the space stuff, dude. But I could totally see how people, like, get roped into it, because it's essentially when you first start, like, just, like, consciousness studies. And it's like, just therapy. Just, uh, yeah, it's the same as, like, like, he calls it the reactive mind, which is really just your subconscious mind versus your conscious right. mind. Like, those kind of things. Like, it all makes sense as far as, like, positive thinking. But then after, like, two and a half years, that's when fucking Xenu gets there. And, uh, <laughs> fucking Xenu shows up. Yeah. fucking spaceship. Things get down. all bamboozled when Xenu shows up. Well, and this was the other thing. So they, in that uh, documentary, they said something about in the building, in that building in the seventh floor or whatever, they were trying to, like, exercise whatever mm-hmm. spirit things were in someone or whatever. We asked the guy, we were like, okay, there's this building and there's those, but what's that building? And he was like, oh, it's just, it's just there's just offices and stuff. Like, he was really weird about <laughs> <laughs> really weird about answering it, and then they just did that, uh, and I was like, oh, my God, what's happening? Like, just, like, offices in a sex dungeon. It's no big deal. Anyway, how are you guys doing? <laughs> well, he lived there. And no like, space. <laughs> they paid him $46 a week. Yeah, they don't pay you anything. The, like in that documentary, it's 40 cents an hour. No, but we met the guy who does that, and he works from like 9 to 11 p.m. like every day. And they give him like room and board and clothes and shit, but that's like, it was weird. Hey, and like also like, you know, I'm like a learned, educated person, but like, you know, some of your listeners may not have seen this documentary. So Sorry, like yes. explaining that to some of the listeners, because I, I know, you know, I know the documentary. See, Yogi's not a learned person. He doesn't know what we're talking about. Yogi hasn't seen the I documentary. I can't read. That's what <laughs> or watch documentaries. <laughs> it was a good documentary, though. I don't know. Every time I watch a documentary, I'm like, this ought to be a certain amount of bias to it. But it's really hard to be like that when you completely agree with the documentary. Like, it's really hard. Well, it was really <laughs> interesting for me to have literally just been there. Right. And, like, gone through what someone would go through in the beginning. And then you, I could totally see why people so were so buying. What, what, oh, yeah. what is in the documentary? Though? The documentary oh. is based on a book this guy named Lawrence Wright wrote called Glo- Going Clear, where he interviewed people that left the church. Got it. And the documentary is kind of an updated version of that because yeah. things have happened since the book came out sure. 
and it goes to the history of Elron. Yeah, Elron Hubbard. Yeah. And I didn't know the thing that terrified me the most about the documentary. I had never heard Elron Hubbard's voice, and it's fucking terrifying. He's well, super yeah. weird. Like it sounds like super deep. <laughs> it's, it's weird sounding, and I'm like, it's, everything about this is uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I learned a lot about Scientology when the South Park episodes started coming out. <laughs> I just, do a little Wikipedia research. Just that and just like, you know, YouTube clip stuff and yeah. like uh there's like a weird the moment you dive into it where it's like, wow, this is a giant world and uh they have answers to every question I didn't have and it's pointing me to this is the right idea that people should follow. But really, boy, cult like mindsets are crazy yeah, absolutely oh, yeah well they, they talk about the big difference is like okay they're designated as a religion by the irs right but no other religion makes you pay to go through each right. level he like that's so the much big fucking yeah. money and it's that building so much money it's was huge and then there was two other buildings oh, yeah. right behind it and that's not the celebrity center there's another one in hollywood and by the way you started a religion in hollywood <laughs> like that seems like well yeah <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, it's just it's it's all it's what's crazy about it and how much how much real estate they own is yeah. nuts it's insane like oh. all these places over. they have yeah and, and it's crazy basically the documentary also said that the only reason it's called a religion is because he could get out of taxes that right way. yeah of course yeah so, it's the only reason it is right so it's not really oh religion. guys i went to like do you think really... scientology is listening to this yes yeah oh definitely Elron. what up dog <laughs> uh, i went to a a very very affluent white brunch on sunday and, Ooh. Oh. i think that's just called brunch oh boy <laughs> brunches yeah. are my favorite I though do love brunch there was another Indian guy there, and uh, he was a plastic surgeon, and I had to be funnier than him. And I was, but uh, I was like, oh, but the room recognizes him as a plastic surgeon, so he is better than me. But then, so he is better than me. Then, guys, uh, they had an HDMI cord that was broken, and they need help fixing uh, it. And, uh, oh, did that in about five minutes. You were there. <laughs> I fixed the TV. My turn to IT tech is now defined to me in a weird way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, re- oh, man, they're really, really white and rich. How was the? Where did you go to brunch at? What was the place called? It was in. F- oh no! It was at somebody's house. Oh, it wasn't a restaurant. No. Ooh. Letting you know that that's they a don't, special kind they of don't brunch. eat with a common folk. Dude, <laughs> restaurant brunches. I just getting into it. It's my favorite thing. I fucking love brunches. Yeah, I don't eat eggs, so it's not. Uh, it's not my favorite. It is, it is. Well, I mean, for me, it's a dream come true because oh, yeah. it's eggs and bacon and all the stuff that you don't eat. But yeah, you know, I mean, whatever. You know, Mike. But you know what? Muffins are good. You yeah, know, Mike and I used to be great breakfast. friends. Blueberries. Yeah, Why well, do that? I mean. So, but do you do you eat eggs if they're baked into something? Yeah, like if it's in a cake, I'll eat that. But I won't eat like scrambled eggs. Okay, that's fair. I, I, you got to have something to hold bread together. And have you had egg free bread? It's, it's fucking horrible. hard to Ugh. eat. It's hard to eat because there's nothing holding it together. You can use applesauce apparently as a substitute, but that was on The Walking Dead, so I don't know if that's real or not. You know, Mike, all the words that came out of your mouth. We're never in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of that relationship. Hey guys, <laughs> should we uh, should we plug our shows? Eight, yeah. Sixteen minutes in. Yeah. Yes. All right. We've uh, already uh, talked. About yeah, we've been talking India about and Scientology. We've and covered a lot of stuff. Um, I uh, <laughs> I will be this uh, Friday at a special show. We're going to talk about it in a minute. But this Saturday, I will be doing a show at Jai Tai. Um, it's called the Gateway Show, where I go up normal and then I go on and I smoke uh, weed. And then I go back on again. Wingus. And I, I'm kind of scared about it. I'm scared about it because I don't do it that often. And they said that's the funniest it can be. Is I kind of want to go just to watch do it. Do you want to drive me? Because I need a ride there. Yeah. And I could Uber back. I just need a ride there. No, I can drive you. Because, um, yeah, I'm getting nervous about it. And it's going to be interesting. And I got a, uh, a message today like, you guys could choose edibles or smoking or dabs. And I didn't want to be like, no. hey, what's a dab? <laughs> I didn't want to be yeah, that guy. Put you on your ass. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to be that guy, but it'll Dad be interesting. Yeah. yeah, it'll be very interesting. <laughs> and so, if you guys want to see me in a mentally uncomfortable place, <laughs> go to Jai Tai on guys Saturday. See Mike, freak out. <laughs> go to Jai Tai. There'll be a lot of hugs, but it'll be mostly me holding you and not letting go. Bring a towel. <laughs> That's good advice. Yeah. Avoid the splash zone. Um, I have a secret to talk about in a second, apparently. But secret. I do want to plug Tell everyone. the fact that in Seattle on Saturday night after SNL, I am on the episode of the 206. What? 206! Yay, doing stand yeah. Nevy be on TV. Nevy mm. on TV. In a big warehouse. I knew when she was at Denny's. <laughs> in a Just big to meet warehouse. us and say, hey. She, <laughs> she didn't work there or anything. She was doing shows. Back that in night. the Denny's we days. Were at Denny's. I was like, yesterday? That's not. <laughs> Back in that D. 
Can we call it that D? Yeah, we'll call that D. We call it that. Let's talk about it before you say it next time. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just kidding. What Monica's all in that D. <laughs> I, uh, I'm at Denny's. a show. <laughs> it's on King 5, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch it at Denny's. You can't. They don't allow you to change the channels. Unless really? Unless they're an employee. Really? You find out things the hard way at the D. <laughs> <laughs> D feels and, like prison sometimes. Grow up, go up and try and touch it? Well, once they, I was there on a Sunday alone, and they were playing the infomercial Lose Weight in 10 Minutes, and I was like, come on, you're conflict like, of interest. Yeah, you're going to know, change your, know your audience here. Come on. Yeah. What are you doing? And uh, But then I wanted to change it just another time, because I was like, I'm done watching this, and nobody's here. And... Uh, a D manager. Give me a stern talking to. Oh. Yeah. Uh, April 13th, though, I'll be at the Creek in the Cave. It's a show Ooh, by exciting. Jake Head and Shane Torres. And the rules are you do a set and then you do the rules of a wedding, which is something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Oh, so, I like that. Yes. That's very smart. Yeah. Congratulations. So Jake it should Head. be fun. Yeah. yeah. Shane Torres That's and Jake great. Head are producing as well as is a few. Is Jake other... up there now? Mm-hmm. He oh, lives there now. That's exciting. Yeah. He's a. Fairly lovely man. Yes, I Jake's really a like great Jake. guy. He did the competition with me. He's from Atlanta. Jake Head, check him out. At Jake Head in Google. <laughs> <laughs> and then his Twitter will pop up. And then his Twitter will pop up, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I'm at Sasquatch this year. So Yeah! Are, are, are you going to be in a tent? Probably. They have comedy in tents there. Yes, I'll be in a tent. I'm hosting on Saturday, and I'll be hosting for Cameron Esposito and Leslie Jones. Woo! Ooh, wow. That'll be a fun yeah. show. Jeez. You're a and fun me, man. up front. You're a good person. Also, me up front. Yes. I enjoy you. And then Kendrick Lamar will be there. Most smell nice. Sunday. But mostly other people. But Are you I'm seeing for there. Kendrick Lamar too? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're here Are weekend. you going to spit some good beats right before he goes on stage? I'm going to drop spit bars. Some good beats. <laughs> like I say, spit some good beats. <laughs> you got them good beats, Yogi. <laughs> and I'm referring to the band Beats on the show, Doug. Uh, ooh, ee, you killer tofu. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Remember, never forget. Who's your favorite television dog? Ooh. Scooby Doo, actually, hands down. That's not, that's not a question. Scooby Doo, not Scrappy. Come on, He's Mama, an what you got? If you say Scrappy Doo, this podcast is over. <laughs> I want to say Snoopy. Snoopy's a good one. Yeah. Snoopy's a great one. Who's your favorite cartoon dog? Snowy Sassy. from Tintin. Snowy from Tintin. He's Ooh. the most practical out of cartoon dogs. Are what are you talking practical? about? Scooby Doo solves mysteries. Yeah, but Scooby Doo talks. No, Scooby's hella dumb. Yeah, Scooby's. Just... He's just okay. with a group of people who you know, also solve all... mysteries. Right, though, there was a there was like a Power Rangers. Shaggy was off. high all the time. Let's be they honest. Don't, yeah. They don't. They don't. They don't say those four meddling kids and that dog for no reason. That dog helps solve crimes. Yeah, and crimes always with people well, in he's masks. He's a great Dane. No one can just like. Pretend he's not there. You know what's really sad Huge. is he would not be alive this long if he. Yeah, no <laughs> way. They <laughs> didn't die. So you guys ever make like, yourself sad and think about how all Ruby? the dogs that barked in 101 Dalmatians are dead now? Uh, I don't, but now I'm going to. Thank hey, you. Hey, let's have a moment of silence for those dogs that barked in 101 Dalmatians. Thank you, dogs. Thank you. Dogs <laughs> <in 101 laughs> Dalmatians. That's from an old episode. That's a really. That's a deep it's throwback. A real, that's a deep pull. Callback. Mm-hmm. But this is episode. Well, I feel like we're old you, enough in 30 right? episodes okay. to have throwbacks and callbacks now. Different things, throwbacks and callbacks. They are different things. Throwbacks are things you bring back that are cool, and callbacks are things you bring back that no one really laughs at. Until you I have a lot of callbacks in my act. <laughs> 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 I actually really like callbacks in comedy acts. I do it's like, like my favorite thing it. in the whole wide world, honestly. I never had one until like five months ago, and now I have a bunch, and I love it. They're so good. A good callback is like... It's great. It's back it feels, like, oh, yeah. It feels really way, good. I always end up doing it on accident once, and then I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing that every time. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Callbacks are great. You're great callbacks. Let's have a moment of silence <laughs> for callbacks. <laughs> <laughs> You're great callbacks. Thanks, callbacks. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was to say thank you. Um, so, Monica, you were in LA all weekend. Callbacks. Yeah. How was that? Other than going to Scientology and getting talked to for an hour and a half. Yes, and I want everyone to know that the reason that we did that was because we couldn't find parking next to Mitch's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I just went so there and we like, out. oh, and then there was a big sign. We were just going to look at the building, but then it said, like, open house. And so we went in. Did they have cookies? No. I would eat Scientology cookies. crackers. <laughs> this, was, this was my favorite part because I don't, you've seen the documentary. I don't know how much you've seen, but the, I've seen none of it. The like I've said auditing earlier. part where you are supposed to like hold these metal things in your hands. We're sitting watching one of the videos and Mitch kind of leans over to me and he goes, when do I get to squeeze those things? Like he just says that. And I was like, excuse me. What? 
and he's like oh i mean the, the metal things there's these metal things and i was like what and then they goes on to they're called cans that doesn't help anything yeah, he's right like, when i get to squeeze the cans like, oh, <laughs> dude i would t- should not the, be here. the scientologist pickup line just like when i get to squeeze those cans <laughs> we're not talking auditing <laughs> like, hey Ron, you want to come squeeze these you cans <laughs> And that's how the religion started. <laughs> yes. I do love that you guys were physically lost and then found religion. Like, yeah, that makes me spiritually happy. We found Scientology. It was great. <laughs> we were driving around for probably 15 minutes trying to find parking, and then we were like, yeah. just going to drive by it. Man, I like now that I don't live here, I fucking hate looking for parking on like, Capitol Hill. I'm like two minutes in. I'm like, nope, just yeah, pay for it. Don't shitty. care. Yeah. I don't care anymore. Well, and that's the most frustrating part is we were trying to find parking to go home. You know, <laughs> like it was you can't, not, they're not allowing us to go inside our house. Can't right, be home right now. That was annoying. Anyways, other than that, it was great. It was like ninety when I got there, Ooh. and we had a fancy party outside. How was that? Parties outside, very fun. Were there bugs? No. Well, well, you looked really nice. Maybe, I saw the I photos. Know. Compliments. Thank you. You're welcome, Mitch. You looked nice who did you too. Wear? Sorry, who, who did, did you wear? wear? Jinx, you owe me. Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want someone to ask me that just so I can be like, this jacket is from Express. <laughs> I got these jeans from Ross. Uh-huh. Uh, and I got these shoes at the liquor store by my house. <laughs> <laughs> if someone asked me, I'd be like, all Costco. <laughs> <laughs> my sponsor, Costco. <laughs> I can prove it because there's a the hot dog stand on the shirt somewhere and you got to find it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a girl at the end. Costco prices. Squeeze these changed. cans. What? Costco prices haven't changed in so long. No. The food court. They're fantastic. Two dollar pizzas, and Ugh. it's still a dollar fifty for a hot dog and a twenty two ounce soda. Old racists Whoa. are happy with Costco prices. Whoa, they're great because some things never change. Some things never. You know what they'd get really mad at if they learned how well they treated their workers. It's true. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Co Obama. That's Costco Obama. You Just combined kidding. them. Osco. I wanted to make your name sound like Gogurt, but with Yogi, and then I realized it would just be Yogurt. <laughs> I got really bummed out. <laughs> like, that was about I'm five sorry, minutes ago. My name is your pain. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, son of a... Oh, man. Uh, I've been called Yogurt a few times, and people I've, that do it enjoy it, and I'm always like... And they're like, you're not a friend anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Hey, do you guys like this first 25 minutes of us bullshitting about nothing? Could you please rate and review and subscribe to the podcast on iTunes? Also, we're on Stitcher. Also, we have the Super Secret Stand-Up Show this Friday. Yes. And Derek Sheen is on it. He's Ooh, our headliner. Yes, sir. And Sung Lamb's on it. And uh, and my good buddy Aaron Kirby's on it. And we already have a special drop-in from Portland. Whoop, Andy whoop. Bates will be on the show. Yeah. yeah. And I got another one, maybe, from San Francisco, who's great. So. And my wonderful friend, Monica Nevy, will be on it doing a set, and I will be hosting it. We're switching it up, because I hadn't been really available to host it, and I finally can, and I'm really excited to. Yay, and it's going to be great. Show starts at midnight, doors open at 11.30, $5 cash at the door, there's a bar, it's just a good time. And if you're wondering about where your cash goes, it goes to pay the wonderful comedians that come to the show. It does. So that means a lot to us if you if you came and you paid. I had a great time we on the show, and I was paid. Yes. Yeah, it was a good time. It was it's a good show, and I'm actually, uh, I'm excited, I'm really excited for it. It's like one of those things that I really look forward to. And I, re- I, I went up first at the first show, and it, it felt like an honor. It was a really great show. And you crushed it. You want to high five again? No. Ah, it burns. That's my high five face. It's the same as a sex face. Very similar. Ooh. 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 Why are you so scowly? <laughs> 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 so your India trip was well though. Other than India we kind of sidetracked. Um, yeah, I mean it's always weird, you know, being exposed to third world countries and poverty. But you know, it does the hard good in the long run. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. What it's, do you do while you're there? I uh, do a lot of hanging out and uh, throw down, throw down, 2014. A lot 15? of chilling, you know. Just go down to my man cave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's uh, <laughs> got a popcorn machine in there, and uh, just hang out. Just watch Man vs. Food in India. You know, I got silent scope in my man cave. <laughs> silent scope. So, do you remember when we were young? When we were young, and by when, when we, we were young, young? But like I'm just trying to sing a killer you song for you. When we, were, uh, when we started, did. and we went to the hurricane for I the do. sole purpose of playing Silent Scope after the hope. <laughs> like <laughs> it's the nerdiest thing we ever did. Mm, no, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're wrong. Don't say the worst things because that one's pretty bad. <laughs> you're right. I'm wrong. <laughs> you're wearing a Pokemon shirt right now. So. Safari Zone. And you're not. Just and so you're not. Monica, you know. every time I start talking about video games, gets really upset about the nerd shit. She doesn't. She's not. No, she's opposed just, to it. It's not that I'm opposed to. I just don't know anything. You know. She doesn't want to play like in my nerd two games. Two people were talking about a documentary that I hadn't seen. 
you know, now that you share my pain, I like you more. Yeah. Than Mike. <laughs> I like you a lot more. Dude, than Mike. to be fair, you liked her more than me when you walked in the door. Could not relate to. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Why are you so excited? <laughs> I'm interested to see what you guys mm. think. It's not, I don't. I don't relate to. Have mm. you heard the new Kendrick Lamar? Yeah. What do you think? It's great. Uh, actually, I read his cover of a magazine he was on in the grocery store today. So related. Fucking boom! <laughs> wow, I didn't. I didn't. Expect and also, you played it in the car for me one time. Not the new album. No, this was older. The new one. We're talking about this new <laughs> album. Oh, you're talking about this new one? Maybe I can't relate. This is not as much fun as I thought it would be. Doesn't matter. Now you share my earlier pain and Monica's current pain, yeah, so now, now we're, we're all, all on the same, same level. Yeah, we feel good. Home improvement style on the same Actually, level. Actually, I learned in Scientology <laughs> that <laughs> I did. There's a triangle. What if Monica's yeah, what'd secret? you learn? I'm excited. Okay, so there's a triangle. It's an arc. Yeah, you're it's she's making a triangle affinity, with her hands if you guys wanted to know. Affinity, reality, and fuck, what does this see? Communication. Yo, dog, so that's Illuminati. To get all three of those things like better, you just have to find one thing. So if I wanted to communicate better with Mike, I would find one thing that we had in common that was like a reality to both of us. Yeah. So just now, when we both were yep. like, oh, I feel left out, that was a reality. So we communicated better. And then now I have more affinity for Yogi because we are connected. Long story short, pain makes you a better person. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I Scientology have affinity for no one. <laughs> <laughs> whirp, 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 whirp. Um, so, like, no craft services, I found. And, no, uh, the, we only have Mountain Dew and, here. And my retainer's not being fulfilled. Your retainer's not being fulfilled. <laughs> I have no only... I only have no eggless bread here available for you. <laughs> I'm going to be taking that. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, so, when we last talked to you, you were moving to New York. That is correct. And now you live in New York. I do live and in New York. It's been now. like six months. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I want to know how that's what that's like, especially without me. I mean, <laughs> how whole, often on a regular basis you, do you think about my? Yeah, I mean, the hardest part is knowing that I'm so much happier without my. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's great. I, uh, I live with Shane Torres, and uh, he's a super, super kind, awesome dude. He's very, very funny. He's just on the road constantly, so... You live alone. I live alone <laughs> for a good chunk of it. But, like, you know, I was in India for three weeks, so we just kind of keep missing each other. So when we see each other, it's great. And then when we don't see each hey, other... Hey, what are you doing here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, stranger. And, like, because Shane's living there as well, uh, Kyle Kinane crashed at our place a few times. And, uh, oh, man... That's a fun person He's to kind of casually be around. He's a fun person to hang out with, for sure. Yeah. Super kind. I also ended up getting really drunk every time he was around. That's just the way. But you guys went to Denny's, and we I'm did go so Denny's, jealous. And we shared a you turkey went to dip. to Denny's with Kyle Kinane. Yeah, we split. He went to that D with Kyle Kinane. I went to that D. Uh, no, he's re- he's like one of my favorite comics around, hands he's down. So and funny. he's super nice, and he's super funny. And uh, But yeah, he's super fun. He's one of those people where you're like hanging out with a comic, and you're like, this is why I'm doing comedy. Because yeah. it's also like, Pat Oswalt said it, like you also get to hang out with comedians. He's one of those guys where I'm like, it's just fun. Every time you do something, it's fun. Even if you're doing nothing, it's fun. <laughs> like, yeah. Just like you guys. As we go on. I think he's trying to say that hanging out with us is fun. Oh, thanks, Mike. Hey, you know what, though? <laughs> Seems so fake. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Ding. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so, do you take the subway all the time? I do eat five dollar sandwiches often. I was say, um, he takes the subway. Take that subway, girl. <laughs> Are you forcing her take to eat a football sandwich? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it works for Jerry. <laughs> That's how Jerry picks up women. Yeah. Take that foot long. I'm not talking about my penis. It's an Italian BMT. I'm surprised that the Jared Jewelry Company has not picked up on Jared. Because that's Jared? a cross promotion made in, like, that's too good. Jared from Subway selling Jared Jewelry. Oh, the yeah. Galleria Jared of Jewelry. Went to Jared. Jared went it's to Jared. Galleria. It's a whole lot of jow- Jerry. It's a Jalleria. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Jowls everything about myself. Don't worry. Jowl, we got jewelry. That's Jared. <laughs> um, I hate myself. Um, do you? So, how much time do you? How much do you go up in a night? Because I want to. I want to know the curious comedy things about it. Okay. We have people. I'm sure we have comedians that listen to this, and somebody, And I think comedy stuff's interesting. I'm biased, obviously. But how much do you go up a lot? Do you On go up a Thursday lot? night? I went up six times. Damn! Whoa! Yeah. That night, plugging I, away. I probably did 50 minutes on a stage. <laughs> Six times. Yeah. yeah, like two minutes at a time, three minutes at a time. It's like an open mic. Yeah. 
Yeah, but there's one place where they let you go long, and uh, I went up there twice. Oh, nice. Oh. And so, like, there's a lot of that. And here's the thing about again. I will. Yeah, the, here's well, I'll explain my choosing of New York over L.A. and that helps put everything in perspective for me at least. Um, You're a big Knicks fan. Thank you. <laughs> and I love the hip hibbity hop hop. Uh, in LA, if you want to use public transport, they have this thing called tap and it's like a credit card that you tap and it's all fancy. Right. It's like in New York, it's a piece of paper with a strip. Uh, New York is just efficient. It's just get the job done. And so, yeah, if there's a mic and there's not that many people, go up twice. We don't care. There's only comics. So you just have so many opportunities to go up. And... Uh, you're performing to a rough bunch, not necessarily like they're drunk or, you know, they're dumb, but just like they're all in their own head about performing. Right. So when you write something that works there, it works kind of everywhere. And that's what's insane. Um, I've written maybe two or three like good New York jokes. And um, in one of them, I say the word cunt <sighs> and I did that joke. Hey, my mom see. listens to this podcast and she is probably not upset at all. So. <laughs> I don't feel good about saying that word, idea. but I do like telling that joke a lot. Yeah. I did your show as well. I haven't done it hard in seat. a month now. I, I remember that. Hard seat, I, I dropped a hard seat the other night, and he thought I know it was you did. I laughed really hard. I only do I it find it inappropriate. It's funny. Is dirty so enough. I had that Tig Notaro show, and I did that joke, and it worked. And I was like, oh. Jesus, that's like, a, like, yeah, if you write a good joke in New York, it's it, it will work. And so for that reason, New York is just – it's. It's going to be home for me. I, I'm really excited about it. And now this is where I play Jay-Z's New York. <laughs> like the button, <laughs> the whole let's time. hear it for New York. Just for the whole podcast. The rest of the podcast. <laughs> that's all. Empire, and then anyway, you're great. <laughs> Click. <laughs> that's oh, cool that's though, fun. man. Yeah. So uh, am I, you know, depressed and anxious <laughs> and worried that I'll never become successful? Of course. Well, you could Dude. do that here. So. We were just, yeah, we were just yeah. like, yeah. I just, I just did that before now. we started recording and you got here. I know. It's all, we're all living in our so, own sea of yeah, paranoia. I mean, like, <laughs> it's delicious. I You're th- great. <laughs> <laughs> How do I make everything so depressing on this show? Because it's hug life. I guess so. Because sometimes you got to hold people because you know they what? need hugs it. Hugs are real. Hugs are real. Real real. shit. You need to hug people because they need it. We're gonna hug our way out. I got (laughs) rejected by a hug once, so I hated hugs for about three years. You got rejected by a hug? What do you mean? Like she just was it a guy or a girl? Person just blocked you. She she, she, like I wanted to go out with her, and uh, I wrote a note because I'm an idiot. Was it say yes, no, maybe in boxes? No, damn. (laughs) But if it was, it would have been. It would have worked less pathetic than what it was. You say, Uh, can I have a hug? Yes, no. Was it just the lyrics to Jumper by Third Eye Blind? I don't want to do that. And then hugged me. And I was like, ooh, this is going to. Oh, she hugged you after? That's weird. Yeah, it is a weird one. I mean, yeah, like I would have gone for a high five. Like, no, we're not going out. Bam. And then walked away. Dude, I did. I was awkward as shit in high school. I kissed a girl and I missed. And then she hugged me, and I'm like, "This is over." <laughs> like, you missed. Kind of, Where'd you hit her? In the nose, in the nose like kind of lower nose, nose. lower nose. Like, top nose, all right. Kissed her nose, almost yeah. romantic. Yes. And then she ended up I'm good at this, dude. And then she ended I up. Am. I have a relationship. Wait, top of nose is romantic. The forehead, very romantic. But that's not your nose, though. That's your forehead. Yeah, but if you go here, you can be like, "Sorry, I meant to be here." If you go here, you're just lazy. Oh no, I was like down there. Oh, like, I was like, like, I was, like, I, I kind of missed in the nose. Yeah. And yeah, and the thing is, I'm like, well, you know, at least you I don't won't see this. No, nah, I, I you missed. Know, like, it was bad. Darts, it was a terrible. Like three twenties is more than fifty. That's what it's kind of like. So you gotta hit three twenties yes, yes. on the upper on the upper so you forehead. Get three here instead of one on the mouth. Totally. Well, fine. you get twenty five <laughs> on the lip, <laughs> which is what he got. <laughs> Dude, and then I was like, oh, at least I don't have to see this girl for a long time because I'm going to college. And then she ended up going to college with me, and she was in the same department as me for like four years. And in my head, the whole time, I'm like, I kissed your nose once. <laughs> I did that for four years. Damn. That's, did you ever ask her about it? Be like, no. hey, remember that one no, time I, I kissed the inside of your nose? No, I didn't. No. You know why? Because I'm so chill. You know, I got Were a license like, to chill. Do you still have a sinus infection? <laughs> <laughs> why, you, why is Mike trying to force feed me Sudafed every five <laughs> seconds? I'm like, I'm not. It's not weird. <laughs> I just remember. <laughs> hey, I got Sudafed in my mouth. You want some in your mouth? And then that's. My love life was not very good with nose? awkward kisses. <laughs> Did you guys ever have awkward kisses? Yep. I had seventh grade. This was like the second boy I'd ever kissed. Nice. And our teeth hit each other Ooh. <laughs> so everybody like made fun of him for it for what was the question again 
What was uh? What, did you guys have awkward kisses? And Monica kissed a dude's teeth, and I, I hit a girl's still nose. Still have awkward kisses. I don't think it's gonna stop Dude, for me. Yeah, I, I do that too. I, I'm too much tongue. That's me. Uh, too much tongue. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm too much tongue, but yeah, only Monica, on like sandwiches. I'm sorry. No, I'm, stuff. I'm, uh, I appreciate your honesty. It sucks, but I'm. Uh, <laughs> It's like wanting a hot pocket too much. It's not a good urge, but do you call her mouth a hot pocket? Mm-hmm. Girl, let me get in the hot pocket. Let me get in the That hot sounds hot like pocket. vagina way more yes, than it, it sounds did. like mouth. That's great. Oh, I feel dirty. You should. <laughs> this episode might be called Hot Pocket. <laughs> so far, I have hot pocket. pocket. I have squeezed those cans, and I have middle aged and sad as the possible oh, name. Oh, <laughs> 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 um, Dude, yeah, I, uh, I, the first time I made out or kissed a girl was on my best friend's bed while he was in the room. <laughs> oh, while he was in the room? Yeah, it was What me- was he doing? He was sitting on the floor watching his little TV, and I was making out with this girl. He was girl. being cuckolding. Cuckolding. I'm still laughing at that. You guys keep talking. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, it was Did your you, story. Well, you had an awkward kiss story oh, about to come up, though. You, you, I, I, well, that that the teeth kiss was on my best friend at the time's bed. Also, it happens because you're all hanging out together. No, <laughs> yeah, like but a I was person. thinking about how hard Dude, it how is dare to you. get, not the right word. get yeah, like a, a loan or like some type of intimate situation when you're that young because you're not allowed to like do things normally right. or you're usually like with a bunch of friends or something. So, did I? It was me and her. And then laying next to us on the bed was my other friend and this other girl who you was my. That fr- part? Wait, they're making out. There were more people in the room, <laughs> Mike. Who was my you friend? Who the was my friend? TV. <laughs> There's people right next no. to you. Who was my friend's yeah. stepsister? And he was sitting on the floor, <laughs> and he was just by himself. And then in the middle of the night, because I have trouble sleeping at night, I still do, and I don't like to sleep in a lot of the people. Yeah, I, I went to the couch, but mm-hmm. I wanted this girl to sleep, stay, yeah. with me, and she didn't want to go. So quick one down. Five people in the room. Five people in the and room. Everybody was on the sleeping bed. in there. Yeah. Two was no. Was we were, were on top of the covers. We were just hanging out, and then we started kissing, and then they started kissing, and then my friend is just sitting on the floor watching his little TV with his back turned to us. <laughs> oh, poor guy. It was bad. Yeah, I felt bad. Was it a good kiss? How old were you? I was sixteen. Okay. Were you happy about it? Uh, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> guys, ready to get, ready that was your little, first kiss. Ready to get more, a little more sad. Uh, yeah, she wanted to go out with me, and then I said no because in my head I didn't need a commitment right now. Oh. Even though I was like, "What the fuck is I? I needed everything then. I had no one." <laughs> Who's your first kiss? One girl. What? Who? What? Or where? Or how? <laughs> what was it? Ugh, that's Ooh, weird. It was a hot pocket. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Well, uh, it was sixth grade. Mm-hmm. My boyfriend at the time, Bobby. Hey, what's up, Bobby? You're great. Yeah. Is Bobby great um, still? Mm. Bobby got kind of creepy as we got don't older. Don't pry, Mike. But, um, hey, creepy. Bobby, you creepy. Um, <laughs> Bobby was Asian, and after we broke up, he decided he would only date Asian girls because there was a period of time where we were trying to get back together, but he's like, right. mm, you're not Asian. This sorry. is sixth grade? Yes. <laughs> and he made that choice then? Mm-hmm. And he stuck to Dude, it until... You said he was great, by the way. Bobby, you're, I take that back. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm taking back how you're great. We've never done that before. But I was my birthday party. We had in the garage... It was like a dance party yeah. in the garage, and then everybody left for a second, and we kissed there, and then we did two more times, same night. Dude, I don't think I ever had birthday parties with girls until I was like 16, 17. How's it feel? I mean, I could have waited longer. I don't know. <laughs> 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 to be honest. Is it better than that? The rate I was going. <laughs> I don't need commitment right now. Uh, I, I was so... My brother is sitting... I remember my brother... I had an intervention. I was sitting in my room playing video games, and it was Oblivion on PC. And my brother came in, and uh, it, when he was my two other friends, he was like, why aren't you dating her? And I'm like, I just don't need commitment right now, and that's it. And I was like really mad, and I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, it was just stupid 16-year-old hormonal teenage brain. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know what you're doing. You're stupid. I have... I'm still stupid. A lot of dumb stories about me almost being with a woman and then it, it means just being an idiot i got in my own way a hundred percent yeah man you are your own hurdle yeah dude let's write a self-help book called you are your own hurdle and the <laughs> first chapter is called kissing is like darts <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have no idea how surprisingly correct that book is already you're your own um, hurdle yeah and also the darts thing <laughs> When I went to college, I had the like what I considered the most attractive girl in school was into me for like the first few months, but she had sex with some dude that I was pledging in a frat in, and I was like, no. In hindsight, oh, no. I, I should have totally dude tried yeah. to have been with that person. You put sex on a high horse, like I put sex on a high horse until I was like twenty. 
easily. Did and you, when did you lose your virginity? 20. Don't, <laughs> you don't mind me asking. No, my best friend, he was like, no, I don't want to lose it just to some random sure, person. Yeah. I was the same like, way. I want it to be someone special. And then we were 17 and he was just drunk and he banged some chick. We oh, didn't wow. know. And then he's like, yeah, I thought about it. I don't think it matters. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't. It, it really like, doesn't. Ah. Yeah. And then afterwards, everyone's always like, oh, is that that? What's that's that guy's that name? name? Troy. Troy, you're great. Troy is great. <laughs> he's the guy yeah. I got kicked out of the bar for. Yeah, yeah Troy. He's that, he's that. Troy, you banging out. <laughs> Watch out for that Achilles, Troy. <laughs> I can't even say he banging out. crushing puss, that mm-hmm. guy. Yeah. <laughs> now when I say I have 12 Hot Pockets in my freezer, in my head it's way creepier. <laughs> 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 it was before. Way creepier. Oh, man. Did I, uh, yeah, young, okay, I wanted to, we have a positive topic, we're already, like, stretching, but we might go a little bit over. Um, I wanted to talk, and this is a topic that Yogi and I, a thing that we enjoy together, mm-hmm. and that, uh, Monica enjoys as well. Yeah. And that is, some people hate these, I love them, chain restaurants. People shit on chain restaurants a lot, and I don't, I don't like it, because I love chain restaurants, even though... I know they're not always good, but there's there's like a safety in the you knowing. Know, it's like a home away. From yeah, home. it's a home away from home yeah, thing. Exactly. I was in India and I was with my parents and we were with another family and we were in Delhi for one night and they were taking us out and we want we want to go to this restaurant. It was really nice and it had a mob of people outside. Like in like, you don't expect forty people to crowd around a door, but then you're like, oh, this is India. There's there's just way too uh, many yeah. people here. <laughs> And we had dinner at McDonald's that night. That's and nice. Did you sit down and everything? Yeah. Yes. How is McDonald's and in India? Is it fun? My McDonald's yeah, is experience is now linked only to India. Because I, I don't eat McDonald's in this country. Because there, there's not a lot of vegetarian options. Yeah, you I can just know, yeah, eat fries. Just fries, soda, and a milkshake maybe. But right. even then, it's not so a meal. Not, right. Yeah, it's not a meal. Um, although I have had it several times. Point is, uh, <laughs> in India though, they have like uh, vegetarian options and... There's something about a chain restaurant that feels so secure and also, like, I think people that hate chain restaurants don't realize how shitty the world is. Does that make any sense? Yeah, no, I completely understand like, where you're coming from. Oh, I want my restaurant experience to be different and unique always. Hey, shut the fuck up. Yeah. How about that? It's, uh, it's uh, also about someone else. The, 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 it's like when you, you look back in history, like, the people that were, like richness was considered being like really big and extravagant in your food taste because you had the money to be that way I, and now people are all like oh uh, like when someone sends something back in a restaurant it pisses me off yeah. like i'm like you could if, especially if it's like you put something on here that i wasn't supposed to have are you allergic no i just don't like it just fucking pick it off and eat it like who cares yeah i'll say this i can i i can't say i get people that hate chain restaurants i can understand not liking some mm-hmm. like i don't I, I don't eat meat so mine are a lot easier but i've n- i never need to go to arby's that's not a place I'll even think about going to. There's Dude, nothing there for me. I love it because I love their fake cheese. I love like fake sauce. cheese. Like yeah, the Arby's sauce. sauce is good. And I the may cheese or sauce. may not have been to Arby's on Saturday. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Yes. I was just, this, this came up because Yogi and I make it very public, our love for the restaurant chain Denny's. Because I mean, you got to get that date. But I, I eat there not because it's good food. I eat there because I associate it with the friends I go with. Yeah. And they like the like it's like a, a home away from home. Yeah. Like it sounds like, hey, it's three in the morning and we don't want to go home, or it's three in the morning and we're in a random place. And we don't yeah. know where we are. Let's go to Denny's because we know that. Like that's yeah. the safety thing. Which I like. That's why people pull shit on it. I'm like, you're kind of shitting on something that I actually like, and I don't know how to say it to people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I really like Moons Over Miami. That's true. So. When I was in high school, we used to go all the time. Like at that point, you don't go to bars and sure, shit like right, that, yeah. so it was open all the time. So we'd always go after. Me too. We used to go yeah. to the same one actually. Oh, uh, I would be exit? you and I would go to the same one. Well, because I live there, exit seven off of four hundred five. Mine's the one forty eighth one. I live in Rena Landing. And I used to work at Fred Mark. Calm down. <laughs> His Denny's is good. We go. I, 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 been, I uh, used to work right by there. Skyler? Skyler. Skyler the waitress. The, the he, jokes we had about. Twan. He was my favorite. He would sit with yeah. us sometimes. Um, Dude, the best. I started going to restaurants more because of the same reason. Because in comedy, I was young. And so I'd go to Mamo's, that burrito place. Right. And people like Barbara Holm and Andy Palmer and Ross would come and get Can a burrito. Can name dropping, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's all our friends that we know. Can you stop name dropping? <laughs> I'm talking about Monica. She's right here. 
Um, but no, Ooh. but I, like, yeah, it was never, oh, this burrito is amazing. But yeah, I love being here with my friends. And um, yeah, I, honestly, more often than not, chain restaurants, not really that good. But it's no. still. Well, we went like, to Applebee's together because I had those gift cards from the pajama party. Holla to the pajama the party. Uh, um, uh, that's my roommate. And uh, like, I was with you and I'm sitting there like, this food is not very good. Mm-mm. But this time is pretty fun. <laughs> it's we, Applebee's. I, yeah, Applebee's. Yeah, I felt like that every time I've gone to Applebee's. I'm like, hmm, if the people here are decent, I'll stay. Plus, yeah. if you go it's and if it's after nine, and you get half price apps. Everything's good because it's food you know they can't really screw up that bad. Like yeah, yeah. you can't screw up French fries that bad or boneless wings. It's just frozen food. You and drop it a fryer. What's crazy is that like you don't realize how much of that you would miss or is actually genuinely comforting until you are suffocated from it and are in a place where none of it exists. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are, I mean, this is a very tiny compared to the example I'm about to give, but like there's no Denny's in New York. So I don't have to, I don't do, I don't get the fun diner experience that's very specific. And we can't do our jokes there, which is bullshit. Exactly. So I'm opening a franchise. You know what I in really New York, like? Downtown, expensive. Well, because that's the thing. So, like there's other places in the country that have chain restaurants that, or like their chains that right. just haven't gotten up here. So like when we were in the south, we went to the Waffle House. Like that's like their right, yeah, thing. Yeah. And, but you can't do that up here. So I kind of like to go and be like, "What's your chain?" Waffle right? House you know I mean? like, blew Utah. my mind in the south. Yeah, I've never been to Waffle House. I'd love to go. It's, yeah. it's yeah. what's funny go. about it is it's not as much a Denny's idea as more. It feels like fast food. It feels like Carl's Jr. But did for Denny's. a diner, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like that's what's crazy. Yeah. It comes out so quick. It was so um, good. I went to so a lot of Village Inns when I was in Utah with that competition. Yeah, like Village Inn in Fairbanks. I would go there, um, but like mm-hmm. so when I Anchorage, sorry. been in India and London, and like it's dumb. But just seeing that an Olive Garden exists in an area lets you know that they have Wi Fi. Like it's a weird <laughs> <Yes>. like. <laughs> there's internet. There's all right. They're, they're, By the way, this is what I was going to ask you about: is how awesome would it be? Because Mark Zuckerberg, the Zucks, as his friends call him, yep. um, is going to have drones with internet on them, and they're going to fly overhead. And that means you might get a better internet connection in India. How would that make you feel? Knowing that you'd have well, good here's, internet, here's what's but interesting. there would be a killing machine flying above you. To the people, <laughs> yeah, right. But to the people that um, hate franchise places, because it's all the same, I can understand in this sense, the data service in India, data, data, data plans to you. Uh, in well, India. Okay. I'm in America. I'll say data now. When I'm when I'm overseas, oh, you asshole. <laughs> um, but no, but like, so people are on Facebook on their phones in India. And it's a weird change to the landscape of what people look like in India that's now going to be the same around the world. And part of me is like, oh, something's lost then. And I think the same notion with restaurants. Oh, everything's the same here. So it's not truly yeah. special. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's why I'm like, just people, if you just find a chain restaurant you love and love it. Especially with the people you're with. Like, I go to Olive Garden a lot because my girlfriend loves it. And that's what I, like, we have fun there because yeah. it's our place. I used to go to Olive Garden. I just smack my Italian heritage in the face every time I walk through the door, what? but it's still good. Yeah, it's delicious. My brother and I went once, <laughs> and we waited we for an hour like... and thirty minutes, and they didn't serve us, and so we left, and we've never been back to Olive Garden. Aww. Dude, it is like it's one of those sad. things where you can't go on like the OG, a, the OG, OG SSB. Yeah, I think that's what kind of Italian my family is, though. Like sure. we're Italian, but we're like Olive Garden Italian. You know oh, I mean? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I feel. Like, just pour that cheese on there. Don't right. stop grating. We're like, yes, <laughs> pasta in a bread bowl sounds good. <laughs> yep, <laughs> perfect. Um, can you stack the breadsticks like Lincoln Logs underneath the pasta <laughs> and then pour it on? Thank you. All right, we got to take the quiz because we are actually running close to the time here. Um, but the quiz today, because we were talking about chain restaurants, is which fast food chain are you? I love this quiz. You already. like this quiz you already? Know what? I kind of hope that I get one that I don't know, so that way I can try it when I'm out of town. Oh, oh dude, that's exciting! Right. I already took the quiz. I'm really happy oh, with right. my. Thanks, thanks. Okay. Yeah. I'm really happy with my uh, my answer. I got. I'm really happy with it because it really. It, I think this quiz really was me. It felt like me. So we're gonna go for it. You ready? <laughs> you ready, Yogi? Okay. I'm I'm doing the questions for you. Just tell me what you want. Okay. What would you like to do today? Work on a screen. Work on my screenplay. Hang with my BFF. Go to the mall. Do a DIY project. Get up early and get stuff done. Get tipsy at an afternoon barbecue. Binge watch House of Cards. Go to the gym or ride your bike around town. Let's do ride my bike around town. Ride your bike around town. Sounds fun. I'm thinking about getting an electric bike. Hang with my BFF. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. (laughs) I picked. I picked binge watch House of Cards. (laughs) 
Because I'm like, if you replace that with if you replace that with any other show, that's pretty much what my life is like. Um, Where would you like to vacation? Paris, New York City, Scotland, Savannah, it's Georgia. Road trip to Vancouver or no, wherever. I can't read. Road trip to wherever. Acapulco, (laughs) Mexico. That's not even close. (laughs) Somebody's like, I live in Vancouver. That doesn't fucking count. Acapulco, Mexico, Disney World, Cape Cod, or I just want to chill on a staycation. It's a picture of a cat. It's a kitty cat laying down. All adorable. I'll, I'll staycation. My staycation. Life. I picked Scotland. You white. <laughs> <laughs> white. <laughs> it's called what the you, Caucasian. What you white. Do you, what do you pick, Mo? You would go with Mo road trip to Vancouver. Vancouver. <laughs> to wherever. <laughs> to wherever. Yeah. <laughs> I have trouble reading I on like this podcast. Trips, they're, fun. they're fantastic. Pick a movie. Harold and Maude, Dazed and Confused, You've Got Mail, Gone with the Wind, The Hunger Games, Coming to America, Good Burger, Goodwill Hunting, or Old School. I picked Old School. Yeah, Old School. It's my classic life right there. <laughs> yeah, I think Old School is for old me school? as well. Yeah. To a fake fraternity I went and, and saw Old School with my friend and his dad. It was a preview screening two weeks before the movie came out, and it was my first R-rated movie in a theater. <gasps> And I felt really cool. A lot of really, firsts on this one. I felt really first cool. Make, yeah, a lot of firsts. session, first rated R movie. I mean, I didn't share any of those, but sure. <laughs> Pick an article of clothing, a striped button up. Uh, but these are horizontal stripes. I didn't choose it. Pea coat, jeans, leather jacket, North Face jacket, Air Jordans, pizza sweatshirt, bow tie, or cowboy hat. I picked bow tie. Go pea coat for me. Pea coat? Jordans. Jordans. I'm not cool. Are you hanging in your Ur first ones? Which is worse? <laughs> The cold, snobs, a world without HBO, sad children, when your team loses, people talking too loudly on cell phones, nightmares, the impending avocado shortage, or McDonald's. People talking too loud on cell phones. Dude, you and I think alike. It's a a universal epidemic. I chose that because I fucking hate that so much. I'm going to go with when your team loses because I think I have a very unhealthy competitive level. You really do. Um, uh, (laughs) Punch me when we're choosing things to eat. (laughs) There has been many times where Battle of the Sexes has ended, and Monica has not enjoyed the outcome. It's and just I was me hosting. going. I shouldn't talk to anybody. Right yeah. now. <laughs> Pick a celebrity: Rachel Bilson, Matt Damon, Fiona Apple, Sinbad, Christina Hendricks, Snooki, Michael Jordan, Jennifer Lawrence, or Mary Kate Olsen. I chose Christina Hendricks because I'm a Madman fan. Oh, that's who that is. Monica. Uh, Michael Jordan. I mean, you know, uh, the Polywell household has one Christmas movie, and it's Jingle All the Way. I'm going Sinbad. Sinbad. Oh. You gotta go Sinbad. We watched it this year at Fake Christmas. Fake Christmas. I'm t- it's, no, it's legitimately the Polywell <laughs> f- family Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> we sit around and watch Jingle All the Way together, <laughs> and nobody complains. I am Turbo Phil. Man. Isn't it Turbo Man? Phil yeah. Hartman. Great yeah. at that film. Pick a hashtag. Stop eating my cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a hashtag. Hashtag, I love my job. Hashtag, Throwback Thursday, TBT. Hashtag YOLO. Hashtag swag. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Hashtag party. Hashtag happy. Hashtag selfie. Hashtag no filter. I chose party. Hashtag yeah. sorry, not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like sorry, not sorry. All right. Pick a beverage. Coke, Diet Coke, lemonade, frappuccino, beer, vanilla latte, iced tea, Sprite, or Fanta. I chose the DC, the Grey Lady, Diet Coke. I'm going to go iced tea. Iced tea? Mm. I'm a Sprite person. You are a Sprite I person. I picked that. Order. Sometimes I do the quizzes for Monica, but also myself and what she thinks she's going to do. And I, I nailed that. Um, pick <laughs> a dessert. Cronut. Sugar cookie. What? Brownies. None for me, comma, thanks. Ice cream. Apple pie. Lemon pound cake. Halloween candy. Cheese plate. I chose ice cream. What does Yogi choose? I had a palace in restaurant made ice cream last night. We're going ice cream. Yeah. I am now allergic to ice cream, so... Could you do, like, um... Deep-seated hatred kind of other stuff? Or? Like a uh, sorbet or something. Or what about Sherbert? that Italian one? Gelato? Yeah, what about that? I don't know. It's a... Uh, Gelato. Like a milk-based thing? No. It's not my Gelato. stomach, either. I, like, my face swells up, and now it's... Then she's going to die. ...in my throat. So, mm. really not too into, like, a what trial and error thing. And then they have to open her trachea, um, like in that movie. You know what? You, you know, Brayers isn't even ice cream. It's just... Uh, frozen, <laughs> frozen is dairy, yeah, something? dairy yeah, yeah, yeah. based product. Right, it's like a just froze it, half and half. It's like, <laughs> it's like the movie Argo. It's, that's not what really happened. You used to only do it with shitty brands, and now it does it with like like Tillamook was doing it. Like brands, Tillamook might be getting so fucked good. over. So you why try some? I don't because know what it is, guys, though. the brands of our foods are getting. We got to finish a quiz. I can't do a rant. All right, sorry. Pick, why ice cream's pick bad an right emoji. Now. 
Jeez, smiley face with sunglasses. A smiley face that's surprised. A cow face. A, a vine. Do, uh, do they have Easter Island do it? That's my favorite emoji. No, they don't. Damn they have police officer, just a regular old happy face. The shit smiley face. The poop. The tennis ball and Santa. I picked the poop because that's my life. <laughs> don't send G's. I love send G's. I'll go poop. Oh. I've, used, poop? I've used the poop. This actually oh. is pretty accurate. Yogi and I got the same one. Ooh. Disappointing. <laughs> Monica, what did you get? I got Subway. Ooh, yeah. read the Subway thing. You pride yourself on your good choices. <laughs> You're thrifty, always looking out for the $5 foot long bargain. <laughs> $5 foot long. Now, take that foot long, long. Take foot long girl. And why was that? Holding it like cool this? combo. <laughs> and you're doing what you yeah. can to be healthy. The bare minimum still counts. <laughs> <laughs> Yogi? This spelled bear B E R. The bare, bare minimum. minimum. We're talking about bare minimum. That's my podcast, and it's bare the world's minimum. tiniest bears. <laughs> <laughs> the bare minimum. I mean, you're talking about a baby sun bear today on the podcast. Uh, also, check out my new album. <laughs> yeah. You got, we got, Wendy's. I love Wendy's. Wendy's is pretty good. You're constantly thinking of ways to improve yourself, and that often means incorporating things into your life that bring elegance. The thing is, you can be all, ooh, I'm Asiago, or ooh, I'm Chibata, but the fact of the matter is, you're a simple baked potato at heart, and is that really so bad? Baked potatoes are warm and delicious. Mike, once a long time ago, you and I had a sketch, which was us singing songs for Denny's, Mm -hmm. and I want you to know that if you're a little rock and roll, I'm a little country I'm a little Asagiaco. <laughs> and I'm a little Chibata. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my little Asiago? It's <laughs> me. I'm a Chibata. Um, I like Wendy's because Wendy's. my dad and I would always go to Wendy's when I was a kid, and I thought their square bur- my, their square burgers were mind blowing. Just so innovative. Really. It's just so it's crazy. Just Gives you a little else. more beef than you should have had. I enjoy the fact that they you used know to what put I'm their saying, French fries in cups. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh yeah. yeah, that is true. And also, the frosty, the frosty is better is, than your average milkshake. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Mexican restaurant you and I weren't able to go to this trip. Uh, there was a Wendy's actually. Yeah, Wait, what? There was a Wendy's there when I was growing up. So yeah, we should we should do doubles. We should go to the Mexican place. Listen, go we're not going to do a tennis match of doubles with food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me right. versus Yogi. Suck and it up. We got another versus match. Wendy's and Mexican food. <laughs> it does end with deuce like it always does. <laughs> In a tag team Ooh, battle royale. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. But certainly we'll have a lot of love. <laughs> uh. Monica, it is time for a charity. Yes. Uh, I uh, picked this one for... Please welcome charity to the stage. Interesting reason. Because we were talking about Scientology. Ooh! Uh, and Tom Cruise, a lot of, uh, you know, whatever. They get a lot of attention because of him and John Travolta. So I figured I would pick another celebrity charity that maybe is actually a good thing. Yeah! So I pick... Uh, Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. Look at that. Nice. nice. Yeah. And I'm on the website that rates them, Charity Navigator, and they have a 97.4 out of 100. Boom. On their uh, financial That's a damn good rating. accountability transparency. 100. They got 100 in that category. That's Dude, great. That's a great thing. That's fantastic. Yeah. Michael hey, J. Fox. Yeah. Yogi, you're looking on your phone. Do you have a charity you want to share with the with the uh, audience? I do. The it's, audience? It's uh, called Sonnet. It's a uh, Indian women's domestic violence charity. Uh, How do you, How do you spell, spell that? that? Yeah. S-A-W-N-E-T. Sonnet. Ooh, not like a Shakespearean sonnet, but no. like a like saw and a net put together. Listen, guys, pronunciation is important in any cultures, but ending domestic violence between men and women is more important. It's very important. In every important. culture. In every culture. I like it. Thank yeah. you. For That's a very that. good charity, Yogi. I'm, um, I'm happy that you came on the podcast today. I'm very happy, I'm very too. Very a lot, a lot has changed there. since I've been on the show. Um, it uh, yeah. it was very nice to do your show, and I loved listening to it when I was in India. I listened to the Rutledge episode when I was on my flight back from Yay. India. And, With uh, Gaby Babe? Mm-hmm. He hates Gabby. that. Oh, Gabby. Gabby Cat? <laughs> my Gabby Cat. He, his nickname, oh, I'm going to go by Gabby. Gabby, Gabby Cat. That's so funny. Oh, Rutledge. Oh, man. You got the Gabby hat into my hey. heart. Psst. You're great. I have a secret. <gasps> you have a secret. Seattle Super Secret Stand Up Show. This Tell Friday. everyone. Tell Seriously. All your friends, but you whisper not like it. Fight Club? It's not like Fight Club. It's oh, secret, no. but you should tell everyone. It's the opposite of Fight Club. You guys... I'm going to go practice kissing on a Hot Pocket. Do you guys have shirts yet? 
No, we no. don't. If you do, I will. Wear, if you, I will wear it. You'll wear oh, it. Yeah, dude, we gotta we're get. Working on it. We're, we're working it. on a lot of stuff right now. That's just we're in the. Ooh, that's a nice sketch. I mostly wear shirts that are given to me for free from festivals and shows. So, dude, but so I will pay for your shirt. Free shirts are the best. <laughs> and at Sasquatch, I should be selling a shirt and an album. So, Ooh, hey, go oh, see Yogi so at Sasquatch. Usually, I try to end the show on some sort of tag. Or some sort of callback that we talk mm-hmm. about, mm-hmm. but this show is just was really nice. It was, it was really nice really to just nice. talk about we got life deeper. and love. Maybe it's because it's the second time you've been here. We I really jumping over and then You guys immediately started talking about Scientology. Yeah, same and thing. I got confused. I thought I'm sorry about that, but I just watched that documentary and it blew We're my really blew my dingus off a little yeah. bit. <laughs> hey Yogi, I could tell. <laughs> Yogi, you're great. Thanks, buddy. You're great too. You're Monica, great. you're great too. You guys are you're fantastic. Great, it uh, it's a pain to not be around you because I enjoy hanging out with you so much. Oh, jeez. And uh, you know, I uh, hope your future secret show remains a secret. Hashtag compliment culture. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Compliment culture. That's women in the call out culture. Uh, triangle, which was contact, eye contact, and then smiling when you compliment someone. Uh, yeah. Man, that's really good. What? You're great. You're great. You're great. Oh, you're great. Weird. You're great. Now we're hey guys, we gotta go touch Yogi. Ever get a wizard hug mansion? <laughs>